Hey, friend, Chris here from WideLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. To ring in the new year, I'm starting a new style of videos here on Why Logic Pro Rules called Logic Pro Quick Tips. This is not to replace the typical style video that I do, but instead supplement it. These are quick to the point videos that show you workflow enhancements, how to get around certain issues that may crop up, you know, just quick to the point so it's easy to identify and, you know, be able to go back to if you ever want to find a particular video. So let's get into it. All right. So perhaps you have found in a project where you're recording, you're importing files that when you record or import a file, stuff just seems to happen, right? So if I open the project browser and drag in this audio file onto this audio track lane, you'll notice that my region seems to have looped by itself on its own. It has phase added at the beginning and end on its own. And there also seems to be some time stretching going on. And that's because if we go to the inspector on the left-hand side, under the region inspector, notice the loop parameter has been enabled. Flex and follow is turned on and fades in and out are also on. The reason this has occurred is because if I click outside of the selected region, so no region is selected, again, these parameters have already been turned on. They have been set globally to occur. So perhaps in your project, you were trying to loop a region or add fades, but you didn't realize that no region in the project was selected. That's what's happened. This has been globally set. So if I turn off loop, if I turn flex and follow off, if I set the fades in and out to off, if we get rid of this region, if I now go to the project browser and drag this back in, I still get these dialogues for importing tempo, but check it out. The region has not been looped. Flex and follow is not turned on. The phase are not turned on. Perfect. So now let's do the same thing with MIDI. So notice that quantize for this MIDI channel strip is set to a quarter note and loop has been turned on. So check it out. I'm not going to play anything miraculous here or anything amazing. I'm just going to hit record and hit a couple notes. Watch what happens. All right, so the region is looped because it's been set globally for software instrument track types. And if we open the piano roll editor here, notice I didn't play on the quarter note, but check it out. So let's get rid of it. Let's turn off quantize. And let's turn off loop. And once again, I'll hit record. And here's my riff. So in the event that you seem to have these parameters like loop, fade, quantize, all sorts of parameters that seem to be just occurring on their own without you making the choice, that's because these have been set globally in the region inspector for that track type. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'll check you for more later. Take care.